Okay. Hello. Oh, hey. We got some gangsters. Life from nearby vendor stores. From the nearby vendor stores stabs into your eyes, triggering a throbbing ache in the back of your skull. You stop short, squinting, as rough voices drift in on the wind. Where's everyone else? Where's the damned shipment? I haven't seen them yet. We just got here. The voice becomes irritated. Longway's probably waiting for us. So we can haul it out of a boat for him. The lazy bastard. Let's just hang out here. Let him find us. Carter keeps her voice low. Looks like we're in a stroll through Smuggler Central. These gangers don't know we're here. We could probably just slip past. Oh, we could clip them. They're already looking for us. Might be better to take them out now while we've got the element of surprise on our side. While unaware hostels are on screen, press the unholster button to enter turn based combat mode. Okay, so. I would like to go a little bit closer though. Okay, I could actually get both of these guys. I could also run this guy to, to lose his armor. Yeah, I think I should do this first and then do a multi attack. Murder! Okay, this guy looks like a mage. Oh, the music is really loud. Uh, how do I. Let's do this. Okay. Hmm. No. Killing one of them, and then maybe killing the mage would probably be really useful. I think trying to, to hit this guy twice... Uh, hopefully we hit. Yes, he's dead. Good. Oh yeah, he was also bleeding. Oh, how dare you hit me like this. I'm gonna get you. Oh, we missed. Okay, that was dumb. But there was a crit. Oh, hey, we can pick up stuff from the bike. Yeah, take the make kit. Move the crate, that's fine. That's the, that's the point where we want to go. So we can only unholster when we are close to our uh, unaware hostels. Okay. Get one karma. Oh hey, there's a thing here. Hello, what are you? 67 million, okay. Some dragon lines, ley lines, or whatever. Could be combat happening. There's also this thing here. I don't know what this is. Are we supposed to go look at Husky Troll? 
Let's go this way first. I kind of want to see if there's anything cool here. Okay, so this is where I should have gone. That's fine. But there's no way, nothing here? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go back this way. This. Oh, wait. That's, that's the light from the lamp. Okay. Even if I'm not getting bonuses to my cyberware attacks, the, the razor claws from uh, from Adept, it's still going to be useful to have other passives like uh, movement speed and whatever. Crossing the street, just make out four shadowy figures loitering in the plaza head. Troll, orc, war, elf. Two men, two women. They're different from the smugglers on the dock. Alert. Poised. Professional. You can see they've made a token attempt to conceal their weapons. The unspoken message is cleared. It's clear. We're strapped. Mind your manners. Wu stands up tall. Takes that amused tone he gets whenever he's standing toe to toe with someone bigger. Someone who doesn't know they're about to go down. Evening, folks. You got permits for those bazookas? Why are you picking a, picking a fight? The thick troll pulls his mouth into a comic frown. Permits? Mmm, give me a minute. He makes a show of patting his pockets. Nope. Yes, not. Must have dropped mine in a dumpster, along with the last dude who stepped onto us. Who police surveys the scene, not in a friendly fashion. Is that right? Well then. You can always almost feel Wu's cop training kick in. It's like watching a drone execute a command routine. He reaches for his rifle, brings it up quick, but it's too late. By the time it hits the shoulder level, the assortment of nasty looking ordnance is already chained on his head. Two pistols, an SMG and a rifle, huh? Carter backs him up. She whips her arms forward, fists blazing with magical fire. Her eyes sweep the scene, darting from one figure to another. Alright, everyone just be cool. The thick troll's voice is casual, amused. He shakes his gun on Wu's face. All well, late for that, isn't it? Uh, you know what? Listen, guys. My stomach's doing somersaults. How about we all put our guns away before someone gets hurt? The thick troll snorts a laugh. That guy looks like he could use an enema. Something we can do for you, officer? Who is jaw tightens, but his tone says cool and controlled. I'm looking for an old man. Raymond Black. We were supposed to meet him here. You know him? The troll nods his enormous head. Mm-hmm. His voice gets an age. You can see a vein in his temple start to pulse. Where is he? Carter sees it too, keeps her voice neutral. Easy, Duncan. Troll maintains unused eye contact. But his weapon says, stays trained in woe. That's easy. Uh, that's right, easy, Duncan. Your friend Raymond never showed. We've been waiting for the better part of an hour. Uh, you were gonna meet with him? Mm-hmm. Keep talking. Troy's, the troll's are your low brown tusk. Shift into a smile again. You need the friends. The heavily armed kind. The old man hired us to take you all on the little excursion. Whose brow furrows. Hired you. He takes a moment, looks them over. They're an odd assortment. A cyber dub troll, an orc girl with magical fetishes. A dwarf with a cyber deck slung on her back and a tall man standing behind them, inscrutable, all with guns trained in woo. Understanding spreads across Wu's face, his jaw tightens. Your shadow runners. The troll nods. Mm hmm. Wu's shoulders creep up, his stance tightens. This is bullshit. Raymond would never hire shadow runners. They're criminals. 
the troll corrects him. Mercenary oper operatives. I mean, I mean, that's true. The dwarf cuts in. Her voice is soft but strong. Criminal mercenary operatives. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. You were right. Your buddy Raymond was associating with a bunch of hardened criminals. Oh, that's a... Is that a cat or is this a rat? Troll tosses Wu sideways smile while staring down the barrel of his gun. Sorry to burst your bubble, Lone Star. Guess you didn't know the old man as well as you thought, huh? Who tries? I, I wonder if Raymond was a fixer. Could be. Who tries to shake it off, but he's struggling to process the information. You can feel the heat coming off of him. The runners sense it too, and they tense up tight. They're keyed on Duncan, and their guns are big. Looks on their faces make it clear. One wrong bread, uh, one wrong bead of sweat, and Wu's going down in a red mist cloud. Carter remains completely still. Her voice is level, moderate. She's done this before. Let's all stay focused. No need for this to get ugly. She speaks quietly to Wu, who listens without turning. His focus squarely on the troll. We need to find Raymond. These are the people who can help us do that. Okay, what were you hired to do? You can tell the orcs, the orc girls had enough of attention. She blurts it out. The old man wanted us to take him to Kowloon, Walled City. She waves her hand at the three of you. You too. Two large rats. Oh, those are rats. Okay. Two large rats clinging to her hip and shoulder. Poke their heads out of the folds of her clothing. They fix their beady eyes on you intently. You know the walled city? Oh, uh, isn't this Colon City? The girl sighs, rolls her eyes. Yeah, this is Colon, but Colon walled city is different. It's a shithole. The worst slum in the Eastern Hemisphere. Great clips and news stories can do it justice. Uh, memories of growing up in the Redmond Barrens flash through your mind. We get it. It's a real bad place. And why would a little old man pay you to take him there? The dwarf standing next to her nods and jumps in. Wouldn't say. He mumbled a lot too. Just kept rambling on and on about he had to get, how he had to get in. On the ordinary circumstances, I never would have accepted the gig. The walled city is the last place I want to go. Well, the old man rolled up a truckload of New Yen. You gotta eat, right? Wu risks a glance at you. His weapon remains trained on the Shadowrunners. But a flicker of uncertainty plays across his face. Okay. So let's say we believe you, what now? The troll flashes you a smile that's all tusks and no worm. Okay, gang, I tell you what. He looks at his team and see, as he slowly starts to lower his weapon. We're all gonna put our guns down. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I knew she's gonna die. <laughs> Snipers, take cover. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm taking cover. Uh, where are they though? Um, oh, I screwed up, didn't I? It's like that. And you uh, hide behind this this bush here. The sound of high caliber rifle shots hangs in the air, and the red dots of laser sights sweep the area. Carter, the troll, and the silent elf lie dead in widening pools of blood. Their heads broken open like melons dropped from a four-story building. Building. Okay. Okay. Your girl screams from cover. Nightjar. Nigel, come on, big man, talk to me. Gunshot? No, no. She turns to the dwarf, her eyes wild with fear. Oh shit, he is. This isn't good. A voice blares out from a loudspeaker. This is the police. Lay down your weapons. Put your hands behind your head. Come out where we can see you. Why would you shoot first and then ask questions later? Duncan Wu, big fist. Come out where we can see you. You have three seconds.
Duncan crouches behind cover, his gaze locked on Carter's corpse. His voice comes out in a hoarse roar. Stand down, damn it! I'm law enforcement, Lone Star! Lone Star! He's driven deeper into cover by a hail of gunfire. The dwarf shakes her head at him. Her voice is flat. Save your breath. They won't listen. Use your eyes. Those bastards aren't here to make arrests. A sniper shot hits the wall next to her head, showering her in an explosion of plaster. Okay, stand down. Duncan, are you hurt? Everyone pipe down, just give me a minute. The rat girl stares at the ground intently, as if listening, and her brow furrows. Her eyes go beady, and her nose wrinkles up. She begins to sway back and forth, her lips moving soundlessly. She snaps out of her trance. Okay, I've got a way out. It's at the end of the street. Everyone, come with me. Everyone? We don't need the rent cops, got it? We're the only ones... The little orc whips her head towards her friend. Her extra firepower is... I get us an exit, but we've got to get past the heat, and we can shoot our way out of this on our own. If nothing else, they can soak up a few rounds for us. She turns to you, her pupils pinprick... Uh, oh, her pupils pinpricks of intensity. Just stick to cover and keep close. There's a door down the street that leads to a back alley. That's our exit point. You fall behind, you get left behind. So yeah, I'm supposed to go there. I can't do much here. And I think I should just go closer. Uh, you. How far can you go? Oh, she could summon spirit here. Yeah, do it. Now the spirit is gonna be a uh, kind of kind of kind of a bad guy. Now we could use. Let's see. This doesn't give me a thing, and if anything. Uh. It's fine if the spirit dies, but we can probably attack you a few times. You know, put you here. You're most likely, maybe, hopefully, gonna, gonna do a thing. She's got a mini grenade launcher. But she can go far. Let's have you go here. We still did damage to him. We did murder him. Okay, how far can I go? Here. Okay, let's go here. Oh shoot! Didn't realize. Ah uh, yeah, she's gonna get hurt. Yep. What is this? Two armor. Not sure what these guys do. Okay, we have full cover here, so we can attack you, maybe. Oh, we missed. Oh, that sucks. And I wonder if he was a little bit too far away. Dragon line. Uh, I mean, I could just walk up to him and attack him. Oh, 
let's have her go here. Let's see, have you go here. And I'm gonna go. Uh, how do I? I, I want to stand. I, I want to stand there. Uh, oh, get my armors. Crap. Okay. Let's sit here. Should be able to go there. Hey, do you have haste? Do you have haste? Okay, uh... Still gonna have you wait. You should probably go in a... Like, here. And you... This is not good cover. Wait, access point? What's this gonna give me? Oh! It might be possible to use the network connection of this, on this police model cycle. Do some damage to their local network. Yeah, let's see you activate the drones. So at least we don't have to worry about these guys. That's fine. Uh, end this. Still gonna cost me a lot of points. And no matter what. Uh. It's long. But he could actually go here after I go somewhere else. So maybe it's worth it to do this. You can go here to go a little bit closer. And then do an accurate shot on the orc. I guess because she's bigger. And you... Oh, I can go, you can go here. And you... It would, it would be good for you to reload, sure. And... Go behind here. At least she's gonna be behind some cover. Hey, hey, do I have, like, a grenade or something? Oh yeah, drug myself up. Oh shit, she's a... the shaman. Okay. Slow movement minus two. Oops. Yeah, I'm maybe gonna die. Slow movement just gives me fewer points, though. Uh, let's try doing this though. Okay, this did take her out of cover though. Now, she does have healing. Uh, there's only three points though. That's not much. And I may actually hit myself with this. Try to, uh... uh... One hit with 50% and one hit with 65%. It's still better than just one hit. Screwed up. What you gonna do then? Oh, am I dead? My trauma key worked. Everyone go closer.
we are gonna need to uh shine wait shine dwarf so we don't know her we don't know her name yet we know that it's some variation of Liz Elizabeth something like that Oh shit, I didn't realize that behind us. Uh, you should probably heal me a little bit, but uh... Okay, this is better than the alternative, so... Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go there. I'm just slightly worried. Let's hide here first. Yep, there's still someone there. Good thing. Good thing that the drones are. Yeah, we can go here. We can go here. She can't go here yet, so it would be best to wait a little bit until everyone can get here and uh, all of our movements. What about you, Gobert? You can get there. Um. Oh, I could have just hasted Liz. Hey, can, can I? No, oh, that's too far away. Hey, how about I cast aim on you, Duncan? And you just shoot this person behind you. You're fine. How about you try to shoot her? Let's say 8%, but uh... so... May hit adjacent characters, uses 8 bullets. It doesn't... Oh, this doesn't say anything about hitting uh, adjacent. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, Liz, you go first. Very nice. 